folks, it's time for some crazy true things about Auburn Tigers football. Auburn University began playing football in 1892. They were one of the founding members of the Southeastern Conference in 1932. And when that conference split up, they moved to the West Division in 1992. What's with all the twos? Is it some kind of crazy conspiracy? The Tigers have played at Jordan-Hare Stadium since 1939. We're talking over 87 thousand people. In fact, if Jordan Hare Stadium was a city on game day, it would be the fifth largest town in the state. In fact, in 1994, when the city figured this out, they said, hey, let's incorporate as a town. Now they have their own mayor, their own city council, and potholes that they never fix, just like your city. Why don't they fix these damn potholes? My cousin lived in a pothole for two months after she couldn't get out. Auburn has a long-term intense rivalry with in-state enemy Alabama. In fact, every year they battle for the Iron Bowl, which is an intense game mostly because the loser has to iron the shirts of the winners for three months. I said light starch hangers and I want them on Tuesday. Auburn played its very first game against the University of Georgia, who they beat 10 to nothing, starting what has been called the Deep South's oldest rivalry. And this is the game where Auburn's fight song originated. It's called War Eagle, and it goes like this. War Eagle, War Eagle, fly above the bogs and beat those dastardly Georgia Bulldogs. War Eagle, War Eagle, give them the blitz and take those Bulldogs to the vet to get fixed. In 1899, Auburn was leading Georgia when officials made the decision to end the game due to darkness. According to newspaper accounts, it was so dark the crowd could not see, so they moved forward to see if they could see better, and eventually many of them ended up on the field itself. Later, it was discovered this is a little-known play by the Georgia Bulldogs called the Georgia Bulldogs Fan Misdirection. Here's how it works. The football coach organized with several hundred local fans to run this play just in the case of this particular situation when it got too dark. The hundreds of fans would fill the field. The quarterback hands the ball to one of the fans who crosses the goal line under the cover of darkness, hands the ball to a receiver who then celebrates a touchdown wildly. It might have worked, but in this game, Auburn had already petitioned the official to call the game on account of darkness which they did, and Georgia was unable to pull off this ingenious play. Did I tell you I ran a play for Georgia the other day? No, I'm not on the team, silly. I'm a gas station attendant. There you go, guys. Some crazy true or almost true things about Auburn Tigers football. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.